In the next several minutes, I'll show you how to set up your new MyCareLink patient monitor and send your first transmission. So, let's get started. The MyCareLink monitor comes ready to use. Just take it out of the box and place it close to a power outlet near where you sleep. Using the power cord that came with your new monitor, plug the circular end into the jack on the side of your monitor and the other end into the wall outlet. Once powered, the animated display screen on the monitor provides easy-to-follow step-by-step instructions. The monitor will let you know if it's not receiving a cellular signal. If that's the case, move the monitor to an area where the signal is stronger, close to a window, for example, but still within 10 feet of where you sleep. To begin your first transmission, press the Accept button next to the animated display screen. Now. Remove the reader from the top of the monitor and place the reader over your heart device. The green bar lets you know that the reader is positioned correctly and reading your device. If you see this on the screen, it's telling you to reposition the reader for better information gathering. When the reading is complete, you'll be prompted to put the reader back on the monitor base. This allows the monitor to send your heart device information so it can be viewed by your doctor or clinic. You'll see another green bar indicating your device information is being sent, followed by a check mark and audible confirmation when the transmission is complete. The home screen will now display the date of your last successful transmission. That's all there is to it. Aside from being easy to use, your new MyCareLink monitor is very portable. Its global cellular capabilities allow you to connect easily from almost anywhere in the world where there's a cellular signal and electrical outlet. For future transmissions, please follow your clinic's instructions. If you have questions that were not answered in this video, you can find help at the website shown on the screen or by calling the number shown below it. If you need to review these steps, just replay the video and watch again.